This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, why is my mask pen brush not masking fully opaque? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a polysphere model here loaded in, and I've just divided this model up to around 700,000 active points. Now the question is asking about the mask pen brush, and when using this brush, it's not generating a fully opaque mask. So why is this happening? So the mask pen brush is a alternate brush that you can access by pressing and holding the control key on your keyboard. So let's say I have the standard brush selected and then I hold down control, you'll see that the standard brush will now be switched to the mask pen brush. Now the mask pen brush will allow you to mask out certain areas on your model to protect them from poly painting or sculpting. So the question is asking about when using this, it's not generating a fully opaque mask. So as an example of this, I just have the control key pressed and I'll come across my model here and click and drag to apply a mask with this brush. And you'll see as I apply this mask, it's coming out in this weird kind of non-opaque fashion. So it's kind of giving me these grayscale hues and I'm not getting the solid black mask that I'm used to. Now you can unmask an area as well by holding down the control key and then holding down the alt key and this will allow you to unmask an area. And when doing this on the model, you'll see it's kind of giving me a lighter area of masking, but it's not fully removing it. And anywhere I do this on the mesh, it's giving me this kind of result. So what is happening here is that more than likely you have the gradient option enabled. So if you come over here under the color picker, there is this gradient switch here. And if this gradient option is enabled, it'll create a gradient from the main color to the secondary color when you're using masking or poly painting. And so this is going to blend these two colors here. So this is the main and then this is the secondary. So when this is enabled, if I come across a model and try to apply masking, it's blending between these two colors. Now if I come back over here and disable the gradient option and now go back to my model, holding down control still to make sure I have the masked pen brush selected. And if I apply a mask now, now I'm getting that fully opaque mask. And if I hold down control and alt, I'll be able to unmask and come across the surface here and apply that unmask effect. And you can see it's fully erasing that mask. So this is the normal functionality that I'm used to. So if you notice your masking brush behaving strangely, just make sure you don't have this gradient option turned on because if this is enabled, it's going to perform a gradient across that masking brush, which is going to blend the main color and the secondary color. Now, another thing to note of this gradient option is that it will store with a ZBrush project file save. So if you have your tool loaded in and you go up to the file menu up here and you save as to save a ZBrush project file, it will remember the status of this gradient option here. So just remember that as well if you're saving ZBrush project files from the file save as option up here. So to recap, if your masking pen is behaving strangely, make sure you do not have this gradient option turned on. And then when you perform the mask again, it should now go back to its default functionality on your model. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.